Hey guys, so I actually just stopped filming my Get Ready With Me. I paused that video really quick and I wanted to do a review on one of the new mascaras that I recently purchased. I did just open it right now. I wanted to open it on camera, but I filmed this intro like seven times already. So, you know, you can never make it perfect the first time. But this is what the packaging looks like. It is the CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom Mascara. So this is what the packaging looks like. I got it in very black. And this is what the actual bottle of mascara looks like. So I'm super excited to try this baby out. I was in the middle of filming it. You're ready with me, like I said. So if you guys want to see that video, I will link it down below in this video of the description box. Um, but I just wanted to do a review on this because I haven't really heard anybody talk about it and I know that it's pretty new. So I wanted to get it out there that there is a new CoverGirl mascara and we will put it to the test right now and see how it is. So I was looking at the brush and this is actually what the brush looks like and it kind of resembled my baby doll mascara from YSL so I will kind of just compare those two now I don't know if it lives up to the YSL standards because I love the YSL baby doll mascara this is what it looks like and that's what that brush looks like so to me they kind of like resemble each other a lot I would just say the CoverGirl one is a little bit thicker but they do have pretty much the same bristles and the same texture. Um, they're just kind of different in size, I guess you can say. But the bristles seem, you know, pretty much exactly the same. So I kind of thought that was cool because the Baby Doll Mascara retails for a pretty expensive price and then CoverGirl, you know, is a lot more, less expensive and it's from the drugstore. So I am just going to coat some of this on. Now I'm not a huge fan of CoverGirl mascaras, but um, I haven't, everybody like really, really likes them and I'm just not a huge fan. I've always been a really big fan of the L'Oreal mascaras, but CoverGirl just hasn't really done that much for my lashes. Um, I do have pretty long lashes and it's usually easy for me to find a mascara, but for some reason CoverGirl just doesn't do it for me. So I'm hoping this will change. The packaging is just really cute and I like that it has flowers on it. So let's just coat the first Okay, so right away, I can already tell you that I'm not a huge fan of the long bristles that it has because my hairs on my eyelashes are very fine and I don't have like a lot of eyelashes, but they're just pretty long. So I don't like the feeling of the bristles against my skin. I've actually never felt that with any mascara but this one just now. They're like super, super long if you can see. I mean, yeah, you can definitely see they're like coming straight off of the thing. I know mascaras are supposed to have those, but I have so many different mascaras, guys, like I'm even gonna show you. Um, these are just the daily ones that I like to go through and use, and none of these mascaras have ever had this feeling on my eyes. So I don't know if I really am enjoying that. So I'm just gonna keep coating a little bit on my lashes. Like it actually kind of hurts, I, I don't know. My eyes are super sensitive to like everything. I do like that um, it is a bigger mascara and I can get like into the crevices right here because it's pretty thin. So you can get right into there. So I do like that because it's hard for me to get in that area sometimes. So that's what one coat of that looks like. It actually does separate and lengthen your lashes pretty well. So I do like that. That's probably what those long bristles are for. And then we're just gonna go on with the other eye. I do totally feel like these are like, this mascara is combing my eyelashes. It's definitely a different feeling than most of my mascaras. I haven't really felt that with my mascaras before. I feel like it's brushing through my lashes and really separating them, but I don't feel like it's really curling them or making them volumized at all. So I probably will use another mascara over this because I like more volume. So this is what the mascara did to my lashes with two coats. I do like the way that it separated my lashes. You can tell they're very separated, they're not clumpy. So if you like the separated lash look instead of the long, spiry, kind of clumpy lashes, then I would definitely pick up this mascara. It does separate and lengthen them pretty well. It just does not give them any volume. Um, but for separating, I mean, this is just like probably the one of the best mascaras I've ever used for separating. None of my lashes are clumpy whatsoever. Like you can literally see every individual lash, which is really cool. Um, 
Um, so I actually will be keeping this. I'm not going to be taking this back, even though the bristles kind of did hurt um, a little bit because putting it on, you can kind of just feel them like brushing through and like it kind of hits the top like where my skin is. But that's just me. My lashes are really sensitive. Basically, everything on me is super sensitive. So I kind of... I mean, some, there's always going to be something wrong with something for me, um, but I really, really like it, and I love that it just, like, separates, because that's kind of hard to find. Usually, mascaras are very clumpy, but me, I like the long, kind of spidery, thick lashes, so I definitely will be using something on top of this right here, but I would say I would give this mascara a 4 out of 5. I actually really like it. I only had one complaint about it, and then other than that, CoverGirl, I think, did a really good job. So, if you guys want more review video just let me know down below or like this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!